right. A while ago, we met a family. Actually, Daryl Lee Scanlon uh, brought us this family. Boy, did they need a nutrition makeover. So Daryl Lee uh, went out there and checked out their cupboards. Take a look. Last February, Daryl Lee dropped in on the greens at their home in Sherman Oaks, California, where she witnessed their poor eating habits. They regularly skipped meals and filled up with a diet that was high in fat and low in fiber. In addition, they ate too few fruits and vegetables and too much fast food too often. Another major problem was a lack of exercise in their daily routine. Daryl Lee started her makeover by liberating Diana's cupboards of every ring-ding, ding-dong, and tutti-frutti cupcake she could find. She then consulted with Diana about meal planning. Initially, Diana was told not to make radical changes, but to simply substitute key ingredients to include healthful choices. The next day, they went food shopping, where Diana learned to read nutrition labels, which allowed her to make her family's favorite meals in a more nutritious way. The results were promising. Stuart and Diana began to take morning walks in the neighborhood. Daryl Lee then taught Diana how to camouflage nutritious ingredients and in foods that her family would not just begrudgingly eat, but really enjoy. And Daryl Lee joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, Gary. We all have been so interested in the greens. Haven't, you know, yeah. Yes, we have. And you know, ever since February, when I did that nutrition makeover for them, I've been calling them periodically just to check in and see how they're doing. Yeah. Well, the reports have been very good. But recently, I decided to surprise them with a visit just to see for myself how good it really is. Okay. So let's take a look. It's 8 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. As a detective on the nutrition police force, I'm healthy, I'm fit, I could stop on a dime. My assignment, to smoke out whether or not the Green family has truly undergone the nutritional rehabilitation they claim, or if it's all just a sham. I approached the premises with caution. When the suspects didn't answer, I took to the streets. And good morning, Mrs. Green. Oh. Glad to see you out here. How many miles this Where'd morning? Where did you come from? <laughs> Doing good, looking good. We're making new habits. We're eating a lot less fast foods. Um, I'm buying more fresh food instead of prepackaged food. I'm doing my exercising daily. Uh, there, there's a, they're eating more fruits and vegetables. There's so many things. But I wasn't just going to take Diana's word for it. I wanted first-hand verification of this family's alleged changeover to a greener, leaner lifestyle. Let's There's see. There's a salad right here. Now, Diana, there were no vegetables last time I was here. This salad looks great. I see okay. vitamin C, vitamin A, and a lot of fiber with that okay. broccoli. To replace the packaged macaroni and cheese, we have our pasta with a little. So this is dinner sauce. tonight. Sure. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. You want to check out the after-school snacks? Oh, that's that's the that's the high point here. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Now, Diana, I like the fruit. I like the milk. I'm going to see a citation being Go filed. Ahead. I see a citation. Make my here. day, Daryl Lee. Pick I, one. Pick one. I'm going to pick the the most offensive looking one to me in terms of fat. <laughs> is going to be that chocolate one. Okay, that chocolate one is 97% fat free according to the box. And when you pick it up and read the label, it only has 11% fat. Diana, you are reading food labels. I am, I am so proud the of labels. you. Now, did, did you do this because you knew I was coming? No. no. Go check my cupboards. I'm going to check your Go cupboards. Ahead. Check my cupboards. Acid test. Let's Go check ahead. the cupboards. Take a look, Darley. I I am so impressed. This Amazing. is not the same pantry I saw the first time. Apple chips instead of potato chips, crispy cakes, which happen to be low in fat. I see on the second shelf, oat brand pancake and waffle mix, high in fiber. All right, I'm impressed. Well done. Thank you. Another big change is that the children are eating less sugar, fewer prepackaged foods, and fatty cheeses. Now they're eating more fruits and complex carbohydrates. Diana has even taken to packing nutritious lunches for Dustin and Jennifer, substituting their favorite foods with healthful alternatives. I am doing a lot more cooking at home uh, and preparing healthier foods because I can control it. Stuart is actually getting up now and fixing his own breakfast. That's a change. We're eating a lot less fast food where we used to eat it several times a week. We're down to like once a month. Fast food restaurants are basically gone. There are no more. That evening, I was invited to stay for a home-cooked dinner. And that dinner, to my surprise, was a meatless meal. The children are eating more meatless meals because I was, in the past, always felt that they had to have the meat to round out the plate. They never really liked the meat. Well, now I've learned they don't have to have that meat. They're eating vegetables like carrot sticks, for instance, you know, things like that that uh, 
and they're not fighting me to eat it. I mean, it's not a battle for me to get them to do it. They are eating it and enjoying it. At least they act like they are. <laughs> Darling, I like to make a toast. The greens are now eating greener, and that's to you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad it's paid off. Oh, it definitely has. Dustin, you too. <laughs> Well, not only are the greens eating greener, but they're with us this morning. Say hello to Diana, Stuart, Jennifer, and Dustin. What's been the most difficult part of all of this? If there has been a most difficult part. The most difficult part for me has been the menu planning. I still don't menu plan. I just wing it because our lifestyle is one of those kind. You never know what's going to happen day mm -hmm. to day. We don't have regular schedules. That's been the hardest thing Yeah. for me. How about you, kids? What do you miss the most? Um, Dustin? Anything? Ice cream. Ice cream? What do, you, what do you have now instead of ice cream? Um, yogurt? Mm-hmm. Frozen, yeah, frozen yogurt. Vanilla yeah. frozen yogurt. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Jennifer? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> the frozen yogurt. Yeah. And there's lots of fruit. We eat the fruit. Mm -hmm. um, Jennifer really reduced her intake on cheese yeah 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 considerably yeah. yeah have you all noticed a difference i mean if i remember right what was it how many times was it the fast food business a it was week? once once to twice, once or twice, twice a week, week. Yeah. minimum yeah minimum yeah. and now what is it once or once twice, twice a, month. a month once or twice a month have you noticed a difference in the way you feel i know you exercise i'm so you exercising can't really, yeah. yeah a lot yeah. less little toys around the house yeah <laughs> oh you mean the giveaways yeah. though yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, what about economics has it affected the, the price of food uh, in other words your monthly budget for food I think it's about the same. No kidding. Yeah, it hasn't changed. Yeah. yeah. Well, now that we've gotten the uh, quality down, what are we going to do about the quantity, yeah, Stuart? Yeah, exactly <laughs> what I said to you. Now we're eating better, and now we've got to cut down on, yeah. the, on the quantity. Yeah. But uh, it's really been, for me, uh, it's been easy. I have, haven't seen the, I've seen the change, and I now know what I'm eating. You know, Daryl has gotten, gotten us into reading Be aware. labels. Yeah. Your tastes change, too, don't they? And I'm, I'm sure the children's change as well, right, they, Daily? They did, especially with, with Dustin. Dustin, what are you eating after school now for, for a snack? You changed your cookie to um, what? A whole cantaloupe. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, so a, whole a whole cantaloupe. A whole cantaloupe now. Yes. Yeah. Curtis. I see you lurking out of the corner of my eye. This From is the our... home show to the Green oh family. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Special delivery. Now, we've put together um, kind of a healthier snack. And I don't know if you guys get... Well, you watch us on the home show. And right. I try to cut back on the fat and things in my diet. And, and I eat a vegetarian diet. So we brought some things along for you. Some rice cakes. We've got some fresh fruits. We've got mm. grapes, apples, peaches, of course. Oh, and I'm, oh, I'm just hungry for the this. kids. Their eyes are this dancing. Peaches and are also, gang, oh. we've got some cider for you. Oh. So instead of drinking those this sodas. This is what Dustin drinks. Now, Look anyway. at Dustin's eyes. He loves he just threw it to death. Okay. Yeah. 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 I know Great. it's a donor trip to that. Good luck yes. with this, huh? Thank you Thank very you. much. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, Diana Stewart, thanks for going along with this and uh, stay in touch with us. Okay, yeah. I'm sure the super detective here. Yes. Yes. I can't go any place. <laughs> but you got to get something other than a red car. My <laughs> gosh, Daryl Lee, they see you coming a mile off. Sneak up in an old truck next time, right? Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Jennifer. Thank you, Dustin. Coming up next, they call her Sweet Alice, and we'll find out why.